Hello and welcome coaches to the Fieldhouse, a place where coaches can get together, collaborate, teach and learn from other coaches who love the game. Please like, subscribe and comment below to help grow this channel and also to give us an idea of what kind of content you would like to see here in the future at the Fieldhouse. Hey coaches, Coach Weathersby here and today at the Fieldhouse we're going to talk about jet, rocket and quick pitch. These are sweet plays. They're trying to get to the outside quick, fast, and in a hurry. I think they'll, uh, they're good for pretty much any offense. Um, and we're gonna show you what we do here um, in our offense. So first things first, we gotta talk about the offensive line, what they do this series. Um, is pretty simple because the offensive line does the same thing all the time. Um, we have two jet plays and we call it two different things because one's to the strong side, one's to the weak side. Right now I'm going to talk to you about the weak side jet. Um, it's our most effective play um, and it, it's, it's pretty, been pretty good for us so we'll get started. Front side tackle. He's rip reach overtake, what we call rip reach overtake on the defensive end. How we teach this is this tackle takes a lateral step. It, we call it a reach step, lateral step, or even he can give ground to gain ground to get his outside foot to the defender's outside foot. And then his second step, we call it a quick step to the crotch. All right, we're, we're gonna try to quick step to the defender's crotch um, to split him in half and have our inside shoulder, where shoulder blocking team, race to the outside shoulder of the defensive end. And we're, we're not, focusing on turning him. We're just trying to get outside of him. All right, so we're, we're gonna attack him at his out, our inside shoulder to his outside shoulder and we're running. And if he cut, cuts across our face, that's a win for us. Because in all of these plays, our backs are trying to get outside as fast as possible. And if they get caught by a defensive end sniping in, we're gonna fire the back. The offensive lineman did his job. So th this scheme is very um, lineman friendly. All right, front side guard. We're gonna pull him out and he is going to just find an alley all right, find an alley. If nobody's outside for him to kick out or for him to reach, he's gonna find an alley and then he's looking inside out. He's making sure his main goal is these two linebackers, inside linebackers, aren't scraping in real fast. He's gonna take, take them out, all right? Or this safety coming over the top too fast to give our, uh, wing back a little bit of a better better go at it better chance uh, to succeed center rip reach overtake these two tackles right here are not going to be touched we are going to cross their face but they aren't going to be touched any tackle Anybody inside the four technique right here, or head up the play side tackle, is not going to be touched if he's in a three point or four point stance. Now these linebackers, if they come up here and they're the, here on the line of scrimmage, now we're pro we got to deal with them. We're probably going to cut them. Um, right from the snap that's an automatic we're going to cut them make a pile right there because our guy should be gone anyway so if you're going to blitz our in the inside linebackers we're going to cut you on our our jet rocket and quick pitch place um just what we do so 
rear breech overtake. We're crossing the face of this nose guard, trying not to touch him, trying to get him to kick out the backside. Going here, the guards even trying to, on this path, to try to get across the face of this tackle. If he does, he does. If he doesn't, um, we're, we're still okay. And he's going second level. And then this tackle, crossing the face of the three technique, trying not to get touch him, and he's going to second level. Most of the time, these guys are not even going to get to the second level guys. They're going to get to the third level, all right? And then they get to the third level. Nobody's there. They're trying to get, in the t get into the picture. Um, the picture, what I mean is get into the touchdown picture. Our guy's going for a touchdown. We want um, his lineman there to uh, be there celebrating and get in, into the newspaper with them. So that, that's how we teach our offensive lineman. Tight end doing the same thing over here. All right. That is how we're blocking, going to block all of our play, our rocket, our jet, and our what we call our G, our strong side, um, strong side jet play. That's it. That's our offensive line play for all three of those plays, three or four of those plays. All right, X, our receiver. He's either going to, it depends on if we got a dude out here that can, can, can go and he's not a great blocker, but he's going to take this corner with him. If they're playing man, we're going to take him on a ride. All right, we're going to just go streak route and go. If he is, this guy's in zone, we're going to try to reach this guy because we're trying to get outside quick, fast, and in a hurry. Fullback, he's he's faking trap. He's trying to slow down this these linebackers and this safety right here. So he's faking trap. Backside trap right here. Going, hopefully he gets tackled. Good fake. One good fake equals two blocks. He could take all three of these guys with him or pretty much all four five of these guys if he if it's a really good fake. Um, wing back. Full speed motion. Full speed motion. And the quarterback is going to give or he's going to snap the ball when the wing is in the middle of, of the guard, backside guard. He wants to hand off the ball so he's going to reverse out and hand off the ball where, when the wing back is at the front side guard. So we want to give the wing back the ball right here. So he's got to reverse all the way out, pretty much take a flat step. One downfall of, of how we do this quarterback may get may get popped by the defensive tackle right here in the back three times out of ten. And it might happen. Hopefully this center is crossing the face so it happens too too fast. Um, but sometimes that, that does happen. But he's gonna get get the get the handoff right here. And it's the job of the quarterback to get him the ball. The wingback is flying, 90 miles an hour, going and gone. All right. If he if he doesn't get the ball, it's the quarterback's fault. Wingback, we we tell him to bubble out, give a little bubble out once he gets the ball. And we really don't have to tell him that, guys. They, they kind of do it naturally on, on the sales, but we, we tell them, think, think about bubbling because we're trying to get outside and his rule was hash number sideline. Hash number sideline. He's getting to the hash. He can go further outside. He gets to the number and then gets to the sideline and goes. 
Um, we don't turn up until the defense tells us or makes us, and hopefully he doesn't make us very long, very much. Dive back. Or this blocking back right here, wing slot, whatever you want to call him, he comes and he's blocking. He's blocking this outside linebacker, and he's trying to reach him. He's trying to do the same thing that tackle did to the defensive end: backside shoulder or inside shoulder to outside shoulder of the linebacker. The linebacker shoots in. He's done his job. All right. I don't want to say this is a passive blocking play, but I mean, it. sometimes it is what it is. Now, if that linebacker comes and he's flying and he beats us to the spot, now our dive back sometimes has to push him out and you'll see that in film. And then our, our wing back kind of uh, has to go inside side of that. Remember, going outside until the defense forces us inside. So that's Jet. That's how we're going to do Rocket as well, or G to the strong side as well. Same blocking scheme, except now the dive back gets the ball. And then we also run Rocket, um, which basically the only difference here is everybody's doing the same except the wing back and the quarterback. And the wing backs going in motion, and how we teach the quarterback pitch here, or when to snap the ball, is when the quarterback can no longer sing, see the wing back. He takes a deep breath, then snaps the ball. Hopefully, we get the wing back coming and getting the pitch right about here. That's where we want the pitch to be, and he's down hash number sideline coming down. It, on paper, and if you really run it real well, it's a superior play, but it, it's also a harder and more expensive play because the quarterback, that pitch is a little scary. Um, we reverse out, and we tell the quarterback basically – Pitch it, but don't let your hands go above your waist. Um, that usually helps with, with the pitch there. Um, so that is jet and rocket. Our third play here is going to be quick pitch. And this is going to be a strong side play. So as I'm going through this, this is a line, uh, how the line would block if we go G as well. So tight end, rip, reach, overtake. Same thing as the front side tackle on the on the jet and rocket play. We have tackle, rip, reach, under, overtake. Um, depends on what kind of tackle you have. If you got a big slow tackle, we're going to try to rip, reach, overtake. And this end, if he dives down. We're, we're going to help the tight end with this and then go go up here. Now, if he's uh, more of an athletic dude and he doesn't – if this guy's outside, we're going to go ahead and tell him to pull. Pull out here, get an extra blocker out here because him right here is not really helping us. And if he's athletic enough to do that, we go ahead and give him the green light to do that. Guards always coming. Outside, he's pulling two. Center. Now, this three technique. Now, if it, this is a stand-up guy, remember. this He's a stand-up guy. This tackle now, he's coming down, and he's, blo he's, he's blocking this guy. All right, if he's a stand-up guy. But if he's a, in the three technique, he better not get to our fullback um, or where – we're, we're going to fire our fullback because in our offense, our fullback is, is our best running back. So that's why we're getting him the ball where outside and inside. Center is going to rip reach overtake and try to get in front of 
get this three technique to cross his face. If he doesn't, that's fine. I know that's a hard one. Uh, backside guard, crossing the face of the tackle, coming up, second level, same thing here. X, we can have an RPO over here. There's a lot of things we can do. We're just going to have him go out here for now. A dive back, or let's go wing back. He's the first guy, gets the first guy outside, or the number one outside. So he's going for this corner, or if that linebacker's coming hard, he's going to take him. A lot of times he has to take the linebacker, but he's on the path. He's going to be on the path to get in this corner. Dive back, coming out, he's lead blocking lead blocking and he's looking to hurt somebody. Um, you'll see in the film, our dive back's usually the guy, our best blocker. So you'll see that uh, when we look at the film. Fullback, he's taking the pitch, quarterback's pitching it out and the quarterback pitch, instead of the rocket pitch where he's reversing out, He's just stepping play side and flipping it to the fullback. We're just trying to get him the ball. And the fullback is off to the races right, right there. Pass number sideline, trying to get outside. Now, this is, has been a big play for us, as you'll see in the film. A lot of defenses start flowing that way. And sometimes we got to cut it up inside, and it leaves alleys. Which is, which is good for us. And that's why you have to have your best running back there because if he sees those alleys, he can hit them and hurt them. Um, we also run belly strong out of this and we have a counter with the wing back out of this formation too that's really effective, especially if you're, you're hitting quick pitch um, re really well. So let's get to the film. First thing we're doing is this. There you go. We're going to start with Jet. And like I said, guys, this is it's pretty simple stuff. And our wing backs are our, our, our guys that can, can fly. Um, we do ask him to block on Buck. We do run Jet and Buck at the same time. Um, doesn't really cause us any any issues a lot, but as you can see, we're trying hash number sideline. Hash number sideline, we're getting at least three yards, and then we're getting downfield. See here where the defense forces our uh, – our hand and he has to cut up a little bit, but he gets to the hash. He doesn't get to the numbers, guys turn up and then he goes. I mean, it's, it's not hard guys. Jet is a very effective play and it, it it's good for you guys, good for us. Um, Let it run. Now, I teach them this move right here, this little juke here, that's taught. I, I, I should, and no, I don't teach it. This is just athleticism. Athleticism right there, just a the little juke, head juke move, and just go. I, and you don't really have have to have a real fast guy here. I mean, this guy he he's hell of a player, but he won't he won't a speed demon. And look at this uh, linebacker, these linebackers right here, or this safety trying to cut up underneath. 
that that ain't gonna work against us because we'll ju- we're running to the outside. You can undercut us all you want. We're not even gonna bother with you. Again, this is a great goal line play. Great goal line play because that's where we give on the goal line is where we give our kids a little bit of leeway. If we're in the 10 yard line and he sees uh, your athlete, sees a lane for, uh, for, not going hash number sideline and he sees a lane and can cut in and get get a score i won't i won't uh say anything to him now if he doesn't get a score i'm going to chew his chew his tail out but we give them a little bit of leeway and we we talk to him about this this time he just heads to the sideline and gets in the, the goal All right, this is G. This is towards the uh, towards the tight end. It's not as an effective play, but guys, it's it's still good. It still gets you good and it keeps the defense honest. Um, make sure they they know you can go both ways. See, we just go, we press the edge until the defense makes us cut up. It's a good play right there. This, we're in kind of a heavy set. Um, On the goal line, I like to run this where we got uh, a, we got more, another tackle over there. We got tackle tight end over there. And we're just, it's a good play for us. It spreads out the defense. It makes them a little uneasy because we don't do this all the time. Uh, They don't know what's coming or they don't know how to line up to it. And it's a good play for us. Another G play, and this is also heavy. Now, again, like I said, we give the tackle. This is a tackle coming out here on the pull. Um, we give the tackle car blanche. If there's somebody coming on the outside, he gets the pull too. And he goes there and knocks somebody's head off. That's a good, good view of that. All right, this is our quick pitch play. Nice to have somebody like 33 in the backfield makes this play a lot better, but that's why personnel wise, your fullback, if you're a wing T guy, your fullback is your best, best uh, running back, in my opinion. Coming out, wing back has to uh, kick the guy out, but it's easy peasy guys, easy peasy. And I know you got backs like our backs that don't really, especially those speed guys that we like to run with jet. Sometimes when they try to block, they're not very good. All they got to do is get out, get in the way, get in the way of the defender. See a good, good thing here. As you can see, my uh, telestrator, he should have been way out here. If he goes out here, he makes a bigger play. He cuts up. He's still an athlete, gets a few yards. Great play here. Quick pitch is one of my favorite plays because no matter how the defense plays you, it still gives you a good good chance to be successful, especially with that dude in the backfield. Also, 
are nine times out of 10. This past year, number 10 got back of the week because this right here, his all out effort, he, was, he wasn't the greatest at running back. That's a sophomore right there, and, but he loved to block. He blocked on belly, he blocked on quick pitch, and then he ran buck all right, but we wanted, because he'd block and he'd get in the way of people and people would just fall down in front of him. Um, and you gotta love that. All right, again, as you see, defense is adjusting and they're flying outside and we just take them where they want to go and we get inside. here. All right, Rocket, we're not very, we're not great at this. Um, quarterback doesn't pitch it very well. Um, I'd rather have where he pitches it. I want, I want, I want the running back, the wing back that's getting the ball to be here instead of right here. Because if we pitch it here, he gets more yards on average. Now he breaks this one because we block it well and he's a good athlete, but I, I'd rather have him where the dive back is right now. Um, catching the ball. But like I said, now guy A, you, you want a number 10 on your team. Look at this hoss right here. Boom. Put him on skates. Get all oh, that. As an old offensive lineman, offensive line coach, when your backs do that, you, you get you excited. Get you excited. And luckily we have him for two more years. Again. And I know I, I'm, this is supposed to be follow the running back and follow the play, but you, I, I run it. I, Blocking like that, I'm glad we have him for a couple more years. Uh, he's special. He's going to be special. Good kid, too. Great kid. All right. We're back at the front. Thank you for watching. Hope you got a lot out of it. Um, leave your comments. Um, please like, subscribe. And we'll see you next time here at the Fieldhouse. See you guys.